In the last episode, we showed you that Greece is not only about islands and beaches. We brought you with us to Tsumerka, a remote region hidden deeply in the valleys, where we enjoyed a beautiful hike and saw more tortoises than we could ever expect. In this episode, we want to show you why we like this region so much, despite of its unpredictable weather and remoteness. We knew that a storm was coming, but not this kind of ice storm. <laughs> So, we're after our hike, we had a hot coffee in one of the coffees in, uh, in the town. After getting completely wet, Ali had to run to the car. Um, to get it because it didn't stop raining it was crazy it was like everything that could come down came down and even we had the protection over us and still we got wet and it was cold but now the sun is out again the sky is blue and we went to the monastery which is very close to um, where we did the hike this one is built literally on the rocks like uh, basically they cut the cliff, they carved uh, a place to build monastery. It is 50 meters hiking, <laughs> well it's just for 50 meters up, uphill and then you're in the monastery already and it is very nice here. I'm very surprised that they built the monastery like right in the rock. So you can see here is basically the cliff and here was the rock and they just carved it out and from here you can see the monastery that is built in the rock and here you have a beautiful view over this valley I have never seen something like this it is very pretty very interesting and I think the views from here is very good and it's completely for free so if you are here just stop by and uh, enjoy a little bit the view impressive right yeah there it's close do, do you know if they still live here or is someone living here I'm not sure if the monk lives here where you can get the key is actually a souvlaki grill house um. Um, it is a grill master Monk. <laughs> okay, at least now coming up with interesting ideas. Dear monk, if you see this video, please post it in the comments. We would be very interested. Um, if you still live here. <laughs> Yo, sitting here. She's like. She's so small. It's really nice. It tastes almost like a carrot soup with the beans inside. It's really, really nice. Very comfort food, you know. It has a very strong taste of olive oil, and I really like it. And I love okras because they have like this chewy, slimy texture. Mmm. It's just very refreshing and nice after a long day of hike. Mm. I love vegetables. <laughs> I 
And another Saganaki. Of course, another Saganaki. Hmm. Saganaki. Always good. <laughs> started for today. But Lee decided to do coffee the way. So then we can enjoy the, sun, the thunderstorm with coffee. So after about one hour chilling in the van, drinking coffee, the sun is shining, the sky is almost blue. So this little village here in the mountain seems like the time just stopped and nothing is happening here and it's super quiet very relaxed i think not a lot of tourists come here or know about this place and it is just beautiful relaxing and the houses i feel like the houses haven't changed in in decades The village right in front of this village so we're gonna show you in this video as well it is separated by the valley you would need around 40 minutes by car because you have to go around the whole valley to reach this village and apparently it's not inhabited the whole year because the winters here are very hard but in this village here uh, it is permanently inhabited so there are around three to four restaurants um, that you can find and I love it that they have like so many sources of water here you see they, it's like the third fountain that we're seeing only in this village and yesterday in the restaurant where we were they had their basically their own fountain outside of the house and I think that they just took the water from there that they gave us to drink and it was super refreshing cold it was really nice mountain water these places you don't find a lot anymore in the world, especially in Europe, I think. It reminds me a lot of Galicia, where you also have a lot of water. I know I'm saying this a lot, but it is similar uh, with the green, with all the water everywhere. Um, and the, the small villages in the mountains. All your friends. <laughs> Crazy! I feel like we're stuck in the past here. And it feels like the whole village comes together in this small tavern down there. The hike to go to the other village starts here. So you can actually park here and then do the trek. Uh, the view is not bad. Eh? The view is very beautiful. But I actually preferred our view and it was very easy to come to this place. It's a parking lot for buses. Um, I think it's pretty new, so you can just go there, park there and sleep there. Okay. And we asked also if there are a lot of buses coming and if we would disturb, but <laughs> they were like, no. Typical Greek. So, here the trail to Sirato starts, but we're not going to do it today. No, we already had our hike yesterday and we still have a few other things that we want to do. So no, we're not going to do the hike. These are baby walnuts. Ah. Wild walnut tree. Snake on the road. Ta da. Yo prefiero ver tortugas.
coffee break in the small town. Now we're on our way to go to some waterfalls. It's apparently just 15 minutes um, walking. So let's see how they're gonna be. It's a really short trail, just 15 minutes, I think. And it's located just below the towns of Siraco and um, Calarites. So it's basically the river that separates those two towns in the valley. And there are plenty of waterfalls, little streams. beginning of summer the end of June and it's still green really green it's hard to describe even greener than Madeira maybe yes but it also still rains a lot here and it's down here with the waterfall pretty fresh so not really cold but also not warm yeah but it, it looks like Madeira it's crazy Right there. So don't do it. <laughs> 